Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews back in here with yet one more video. Joined today by a very special guest, Sky. Hello. Say what up. <laughs> What's going on? Follow me on all social media outlets at Billy Nation. B I L L I, not Y. Billy Nation. Yep. Cool. <laughs> all right. Um, so we have a fantastic video in store for you guys today. of the time we don't know ourselves as people we think we do That's because right. we go out to eat and we're like oh i don't eat avocado because i don't like avocado but <laughs> honestly we don't know ourselves enough a, a lot of us don't you, you, you know why because it's we got so much information coming in from a variety of sources in this internet web 2.0 age that like we don't need to right like and I say need to like there's less of a focus on it and it's and it shouldn't be like I think I think that we need to right but there's so much other information coming you can focus on other people's lives honestly that's true um, there's some women and um, well, I'm gonna say most women who kind of come into a relationship expecting it to already be built um, we expect this man to have his stuff 100% together. You know, he has a job, he has a car, he has a home, you know, he has money to support his habits, plus mine. So we come in looking for these already built, you know, foundations. Mm -hmm. we come in looking just to be another part of what he's already built. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of just putting our little touches here and there on it. Women test things, if it doesn't work, we get back on that boat mm -hmm. <laughs> and we go to the next island. Right. But with some men, because they built their own island, it's not as easy for them to just pick up, go, and just build a whole new island. Well, but, but you were attracted to that island because he built it. Now, what if he then takes all the energy, all the time, all the effort that he took to build that island and then focus that on you? You might lose attraction for that island. Right, because you're not continuously building your island. You're for you to now, be a part of. Right, you're now focusing on me, and I don't, I don't want my own island. <laughs> Just want to live on yours. And that comes back to saying how people don't know themselves. Like we all go through these spontaneous adventures in life um, as we grow, uh, growing pains. Like they use the term um, "hoe face." <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Women sometimes do go through that where they just want to be free. They just want to hook up and be with who they want to be. And then there's some women who don't ever want to take that chance because there's so much other crazy stuff in the world. So I just think it depends on where that woman stands in her life mm -hmm. um, and her like knowing this is what I'm into right now. It's real. Yeah. These men are legit focusing on their islands. <laughs> They're not even letting people pull up on the boat, okay? They they don't care. You can drive the boat all you want. <laughs> but so a lot more dudes nowadays are focusing on their on their islands. I think that a lot of men have built islands and watched their islands crash and burn because they're they're not exclusive islands. And I think that there's too many boats crashing. There, there's, yeah, there's too many boats that he's allowing to people yeah. borders to get off on. And he's yeah. not kind of making his island exclusive. And I think that when a man has some sort of like exclusive exclusiveness about them, they're just like so much more attractive. Like I, you're not easily accessible. And yeah. I think that men wouldn't have these problems with these boater women. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yep. If they weren't so accessible and um, fast, fast. Yeah, <laughs> like I just fast, need fast. you guys to understand it's not bashing on men but if you guys weren't making yourself available to every woman or every everything that just comes your way you probably wouldn't have these type of problems with your island crashing and burning well well I think it's it's not that they're letting in all of these different boats it's how they're letting them in right like like if we keep up with this island analogy 
I think all dudes should have a seaport right at the end of the island, right? That's just like a <laughs> buffer between them and the island. Like you let them in only but so far. Right, and, and 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 you have security guards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so but, you're playing kind of like. A, but a security guard might be your ability to judge. Right, you might need to heighten your judgment ability. Right, another one like your red flag indicator. You gotta heighten your red flag indicator when you see different things or her respond to a question. You're like, you know what? She might be someone who's gonna key a car in the future. Right, <laughs> you gotta let that one. You gotta set that boat off on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, but to your point, I do think like a lot of the destruction of an island can oftentimes can be, uh, come because you let too many of the wrong boats inland. You got to look at the boat. And I don't think that people are looking at what type of boat. Yeah. You know, we're so quick to be like, what type of car, you know, does she have? Or what type of credit does she have? Or, you know, what type of friends does she keep around? Those things are important. And that is what makes that woman's boat. So, Honestly, and this boat could be on its last limb. So, so <laughs> but I think like, but, but dudes, I mean, let, let's face it, the dudes on them islands, man, they like, they like them hot red Ducatis. You see what I'm saying? They like hot, hot nutty. Yeah, listen, they want those hot red Ducatis, the two seaters. They want, they want those. Those are, those are the bags. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, the thing is, and, and, and I've had experience like this in the past that like, you know, you'll have a 10, that, that hot Ducati, who's insane, crazy. Right, but then you got like a sailboat. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we'll, we'll get you to point A and B in a in dependable fashion. You know what I'm saying? Not the fastest, right? But it'll get you there from point A to B. You know what I mean? <laughs> we need to focus more on ourselves and, you know, thinking the quality of our boat. You know, just because it's nice and pretty doesn't mean it's gonna, you know, be a good investment. So I think no matter if if it's the island or it's the boat, you both should be focusing on improving yourself. As you're focusing, you know, on developing yourself as a man or as a woman, you know, you may not be going out Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights or what have you, but it's like at key times in your life, you have to put yourself in a space in order to be chosen, right? Like out of sight, out of mind, right? Like <laughs> you're like complete out of sight, complete out of mind. Right, so you have to, you know, whether or not it's like, you know, joining, you know, some association in town or that's um, volunteering or what what have you, right? Like, but you still gotta make yourself relatively available, but just not time and energy and effort focusing on something that doesn't improve your island. Yeah, do what makes you happy. Um, but your happiness shouldn't be involved with making someone else happy. So make what, do what makes you happy, not what you think is gonna make someone else happy. Invest in yourself, be yourself. Um, I think you can't go wrong with just being naturally who you are. Unless you're crazy. All right, Sky! <laughs> Thanks for dropping Thanks by. Thanks for having me. Y'all already know what to do, all right? Mediocre Tours and Reviews at gmail.com. All right, <laughs> until next time, you two. Bye. Peace.